There's no recording inside the facility. Why? There's no recording inside the facility. Why? Why? Yeah. Because it's posted on the GSA rules and regulations. It's no, right there when you enter. I understand that, ma'am. I guess I don't understand because okay. it's just. Okay. I'm going to need you to turn this off right now. They can't let us. They won't let us all go in. The guy from Cruz's office is going to come out and listen to us for a bit. How far back do we actually have to go? About 10 feet. Do you care if we're all saying what we're saying through a bullhorn? Yep, so people can hear. Okay. Why doesn't the spokesperson come out? They're in our Washington, D.C. They're all in Washington. He has no spokespeople here. No, ma'am. Mr. Carson once told a television interviewer he had risen above the circumstances by realizing that poverty is really more of a choice than anything else. You know, and in Carson's own words, he has no government experience and he's never run a federal agency. So for these reasons, I'd like Senator Cruz to vote no on Ben Carson. Thank you. Yay. I'm appalled that Betsy DeVos demonstrated at her hearing no understanding of the idea law that means the Individuals with Disability Education Act that allowed children with disabilities to obtain education in the least restrictive educational environment. Vote no on Betsy DeVos. Find someone who has an idea what idea is. 97% of the scientific community are in agreement. Yep. The only thing we lack is the will to act. We need someone leading the EPA who is ready to make bold changes, to join in, and in some cases lead the rest of the world in curbing our greenhouse emissions. The planet can't wait for more years. I am the great granddaughter of Charles Evan Hughes, who was a Supreme Court Justice and a Secretary of State for these United States of America. And he was a Republican, and I think he would be appalled at the state of his party at this point. He fought for workers' rights, and he fought for the individual freedoms of every American. Jeff Sessions' racist agenda and support of the KKK and calling the NAACP un-American is un-American, and he cannot be our Attorney General. <laughs> I'm a labor lawyer, I represent workers in lots of kinds of cases, and I have seen Andy Puzder's companies discriminate against their employees and use wage theft as a very common tactic. Uh, he said that it would be better if his workers could just be replaced by machines because machines always upsell, they never take a vacation, they never show up late, there's never a slip and fall or an age, sex, or race discrimination case. This is not the man who we want leading the agency that represents the workers of this country. I would encourage you. I hope he stands up for his Republican values of only putting qualified people into jobs that they deserve to be in. years in education, I came to realize that it's so important that we include everyone. Our democracy is based on an educated populace that can make decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Betsy DeVos does not like public education. She was not educated there. She did not educate her children there. She cannot be of education when she does not believe in public education. I'm here because I utterly oppose Jeff Sessions. Right over there, right over there in the headphones, I'd like you to turn around. That's my African-American teen son. And you're telling me and Senator Cruz is going to vote for an outright unrepentant racist who is not going to represent my U.S. American-born son who deserves representation by their federal government? I am a huge supporter of public education. You know why I homeschool my son? Because I don't want him shot like those kids up in Newtown, Connecticut. Yes. That is why I'm a member of Moms Demand Action and Every Town for Gun Safety. Ted Cruz, if he's a true patriot, if he is a 
true American citizen. He puts country ahead of party, and he votes against Jeff Sessions, a known racist, and he votes against I will certainly pass on all of your concerns to Senator Cruz, and I really appreciate your taking the time to come out today. Senator Cruz is very committed to representing the constituents of Texas, all 27 million people, and we will do everything we can to help make sure your voice is heard in Washington. That is what we're here for. If there's ever a time for Republican Congress to check a Republican president, it's now. This is the time. Dem or the Democrats, the Republicans, and the moderates. Yeah, I don't know. Now is the time to put it in check. And the world. America. And the world. Moderate Americans want to keep America moderate. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's not the way it's heading right now. Thank you. I will pass that on. Senator Ted Cruz, we're here. We're not leaving. We're coming back.